Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're talking about the Kindled Orchid. This is actually be my very first single weapon review. Now, occasionally I did do some reviews for other weapons and like a bunch of them, but in this review we're going to be talking about one gun specifically because I feel like there's still a lot of great weapons in Destiny 2 that a lot of people are still sleeping on. This one being one of them, especially since you can get a really gross roll that could two tap in PvP and I'm not even kidding about that. But Actually, I don't even know if it could 3-tap now that Rampage got nerfed, but it's still a great weapon. You guys will see some footage of me using it in PvP, and it was fucking nasty. So before we start talking about the weapon itself, how do you get the gun? Basically, you're going to have to do some story for Ada if you haven't already. I do not know how the experience is for newer players, but go to Ada, and then either you'll get a story or bounties. I don't know how that works. Let me know in the comments below how it works. For newer players but after that you're gonna have to complete a bounty for you're gonna want to do the hand cannon one from there it's gonna ask you to do a few quests for but the ones that people usually find annoying is the head headshot kills and then the pa kill powerful enemies so you can all do this all in mars for the headshots i mean you can just go anywhere and get the headshots but for the kill powerful enemies you can either do an escalation protocol which is pretty fast but the fastest way for me is go to the lost sector in the middle of the map for Mars. Not where Anna Bray is, but like the other area. The lost sector in that area is this really big, uh, this really big cabal dude. Go there, kill that asshole, and after that, he drops like 10, I think. 10 or 5 or some, some crazy shit. I just had to kill him twice, so probably 10. After that, uh, rinse and repeat, and then after that, go back to Ada, complete the... The bounty she'll give you she'll give you the actual like schematic for it then go to a random forge complete it and then you'll have a chance for the curated and an and a random roll so if you get if you see two that means you got the curated roll so i mean there's a lot of other things too like i can't explain to you how the story actually works uh how to get like the the fragments for each of the weapon parts but ultimately i'm not going to do that because this video would be the way longer so let's talk about the weapon real quick so we're going to be looking at the barrels the magazine perks and pretty much everything else so first of an adaptive frame a well-rounded grip reliable and sturdy the next thing we're going to be talking about is the barrel. So essentially, this is kind of divided between PC and console. If you're PC, range all the way. You're going to want to get like hammer forge rifling, corkscrew rifling, extended barrel, full bore, small bore. For me, the, the one I like is full bore because I don't need stability or handling and it gives you a plus 15 in range. So full bore is probably the best one you can get. If you're a console player, then you're probably going to want stability or handling or recoil. So arrowhead brake, chamber compensator, fluted barrel, polygonal rifling. You're going to be wanting to get some of these because it does help with controlling the gun. If it's unruly, I wouldn't know. I do not play on console. But if you're like, oh, it's hard to control, those are going to be the barrels you're going to want to look for. For the magazine perks, you're going to be looking for Acrize Round drop mag i know people are gonna already me immediately go no no drop mags garbage just wait you guys will see once i completely like tell you everything appended mags nice tactical mag is nice flared mag wall is nice extended mag is good because it does extend your magazine but i do not like the negative 20 on reload steady rounds if you're console player this one's really good and i think that alloy magazine's complete garbage. So that's just my opinion. Next one we're gonna be looking at is the actual perks. Outlaw, amazing for reload speed. Kill clip, amazing for DPS. Shield disorient, eh. Range finder, amazing for range. Quick draw, it's amazing for PvP when you have to like get your gun out real quick. Triple tap, I don't really care about triple tap in my, like just I don't care about it. It's ugh, whatever. Surrounded is actually surprisingly pretty good. And for the last roll, we have Rapid Hit, which I love, but not on this weapon. Rampage, which I love in this weapon. Disruption Break, which again, whatever. Explosive Payload, which I did not even know this weapon can drop with this. That's surprising. 
Ambitious Assassin and Threat Detector, which I think both are whatevers. So, Tony, go back to the drop mag. Okay, so this is my thought process. If you're gonna be using Rampage, you're gonna want drop mag because the reload for this weapon is actually not that great in my opinion, like you guys will see in the screen right now. The one on the left side is with drop mag and then the one on the right is not. So you guys can see that that reload speed alone is already dipping into your rampage time and you definitely do not want to like reload and then like quickly try to find an enemy. It's not that crazy, like it, you can really, it really, realistically if you're good at the game, you can reload and then just casually shoot someone else in the face. It's not that hard, but it is annoying. It is annoying when two more steps, I could have gotten that kill to extend my rampage. That's what I'm talking about. So with drop mag, it increases your reload by a lot. And it just literally made me feel so uncomfortable. I was like, all right, cool with this. I can like leisurely, well, not leisurely, but like I can like calmly look for something to kill. So what is the best role? This is where it gets really interesting because I actually did numbers for this. I actually did like tested the different uh, mods or mods. I tested the different perks for each of them. I actually have pretty much everything kind of. So what am I talking about? I got damage values, which is weird for me because I never do this, but and I, I'm not going to do it for most of all my videos because I just got lucky and I usually I had most of these, if not all of them. So we're going to be going through the damage values to show you how crazy some of these combinations can be. So first and foremost, we're going to go through the base damage and then I'll show you what the best damage is. So the base damage is 2246 for a crit and for body, it's 1502, which is actually pretty respectable in my opinion. Now, the strongest combination you can get is obviously times three rampage with kill clip which will almost bump you to 4,000. So it is, it's pretty crazy how much the DPS goes up. It goes up to 3,984 for a crit and 2,663 for a body. The next one is actually surrounded, which is 3,138 on a crit and then 2,098 for a body shot. The next one is kill clip alone. That will bring you up to 2,994 on a crit and 2,001 with a body shot. And the last one is Rampage times three that it brings you up to a 2,770 for a crit and a 1,852 for a body shot. So 1,852 for a body shot. So Rampage is the lowest damage value you can get aside from the base damage. And it's really weird because if you could roll surrounded with kill clip, that would probably be the best damage. But unfortunately, surrounded and kill clip are in the same slot, so you can't do that. But what does this all mean? I'm saying get the curated roll, homie. Oh my god. I am so surprised how this curated roll is this fucking nasty. It's so gross, guys. It's it's been such a pleasure using this weapon in PvP and in PvE. Now, granted, in PvE, it's a little bit more hard because Drop Mag does chew your, your ammo quite a lot. I do wish that it didn't chew that much, but it's really fun when your hand cannon is doing that much damage. Like, it's almost at 4,000 on a crit, homie. Like, that's that's foul. That's... Mm, that's 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 a spicy homie that's really good so that's one of the things that i really love about this gun but i that like this is a crazy thing is this weapon can really be good with anything i have a few rolls on my on mine that's not like just my curated because i did farm this weapon quite a lot i have one with surrounded and rapid hit which is really nice but the only thing i hate about surrounded itself is that it's surrounded you have to be surrounded by three or more you could do the surrounded spec and that you could do that but i think the duration on that is just a tad bit too low because if you get the surrounded spec if you guys don't know if you get a uh, if you activate surrounded and get out of it it stays up for a little bit but unfortunately it just doesn't make it enough for me to like warn it so this role while i do love rapid hit and surrounded is cool in theory it's just 
The, like, it's it's cool because, like, the surround damage is dope. It's, like, the second highest aside from Rampage and Kill Clip. The only thing that sucks is that it's just you have to be surrounded. And sometimes being far away is just the best way. So that role I unfortunately never use. I have another role that's quick draw and Rampage. And this role I actually used a lot. This role I actually use in PvE more than PvP. Mostly because doesn't chew through my ammo as much so this one's this one was the one i used before i got my curated roll and i ended up getting some pretty good rolls on it i got ended up getting small bore with appended mag and then quick draw and rampage and i like it it's it's a good weapon but once you use kindled orchid with the god roll or the curated roll it kind of changes your thought process a little you're just like damn like kill clip with rampage it's it's really gross, especially when you put the Rampage spec on it. It's it's effortless. It really is. Uh, in PvP, it, it slaps. In, in PvP, it slaps. So, well, the the one thing I kind of hate about it is you got like you have to get kills. You have to get a lot of kills for this to like really be fucking. Not even a lot of kills, really, just three. But it's really annoying when you're trying to get footage for this weapon and you get lord of wolves every fucking time or like insert shit here it's it's really dumb like obviously obviously pvp right now is really garbage so i'm do apologize if i can't bring you really good footage but at the moment pvp is just stupid there's just a lot of dumb shit happening i i'll like shoot someone and midway i'll get killed by some dumb shit and i'm like that's cool definitely definitely love that love it when uh when a uh, gunplay is not even in play anymore, it's just dumb shit at this point. So, you guys are just gonna have to get this one clip that I got in the beginning, where this one guy was not paying attention or was not in his screen, and I killed him, which immediately proc rampage and kill clip. And at that point, I just went ham. So, it's it's really good. I love this weapon a lot. It's one of my favorite weapons right now. It's one of my favorite weapons. Period. And. If you guys were to tell me, Tony, like, or if you guys were to ask me, Tony, do I need this weapon? You really don't. You really don't. You could get a trust with a few good rolls. You could get any hand cannon, really. But the thing that really makes it unique and really gross is the fact that it can drop with Rampage and Kill Clip. Those two together with the fact that it drops with uh, Drop Mag and it's just, it's effortless. It really is. Like, I just don't even have to think about it. I don't have to worry about Rampage like going down because of my reload speed. I don't have to worry about Kill Clip because Kill Clip is literally effortless. So I really, I really implore you guys to get this weapon in any capacity, really. Like get something with Surrounded and Rampage, uh, Kill Clip, anything really. It This gun slaps. You don't need the curated roll. I just say that the curated roll is amazing and you'd like... Like I said, you don't need the curated roll, but if you could get something with Kill Clip and Rampage and whatever the fuck else, it'll still slap. But if you get Kill Clip with Rampage and Drop Mag, you guys will notice the difference. So that's my first review. Let me know what you guys thought about it. I was a little nervous to do damage numbers because I'm not the most confident when it comes to that type of shit. But let me know how I did in this video. If you guys like what you saw comment like subscribe everything helps me a lot not only that but it helps me grow that's pr pretty much what i want to do right now and yeah let me know what you guys thought if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below i'd like to thank everyone who has constantly supported me with likes comments subscribes everything you guys are amazing i love you guys i really appreciate it so other than that i'll see you guys later